<laughs> this is the fun one. And done. Another game finished. Impressive. I don't know, that was pretty easy. Hmm, how good are you at Solitaire? I'm pretty good. Oh really? They name every single way to play Solitaire. Well, there's mouse and there's touch. And that's all the ways to play Solitaire. Wait, 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 hold on a second. I'm pretty sure you can play Solitaire in more ways than that. Wait, what do you mean? Are you telling me you can't play with your feet? I mean, no, but like, who in the world is gonna play with their feet? But does that mean it isn't the way to play Solitaire? But like, uh, but, uh, <sighs> fine. So we are going to be starting with one of the more conventionally accepted ways of playing Solitaire, which is using mouse and, what is it called? No, it's just using mouse. This method is quite straightforward. You have a mouse and you move it around. Mouses are interesting. I like, I like using them. They're, if I say they're fun to use, I'm not entirely sure if they're fun to use, but they're quite simple to use to say the least. They're not ridiculously complicated like some of the stuff that comes up next onto this and they are quite reliable. Another plus, they also have I love nice ASMR with them. Generally quick and easy solve, a nice 2 minutes 38 on that one. Despite touch, be, uh, no not touch, despite mouse being the most conventionally accepted way to play solitaire, my all time favourite is playing solitaire with touch. And touch is good because you can have more than one input on the screen, whereas mouse, you're stuck with one input. It's definitely a reliable way to play solitaire, however, when I looked online at um, speedruns, it seemed that none of them used um, touch, they're all mouse, which concerned me a bit, that if I wanted to put a speedrun out online and I use touch, people are going to hunt me down and say, you're not allowed to do that, touch is not allowed. Touch, play. <laughs> Okay. Here's a quick example of using more than one hand to play. It's quite fast, quite helpful in times when you're trying to speed run. So, one of the big pluses of playing with. Um, I can't even speak. Playing with touch. You can use more than two fingers at a time and it really helps. So, yeah. Solve the hard puzzle in like 90 seconds, which is nice. First we had touch, and now we have the better touch. Playing with stylus is an interesting one. Like mouse, you have only one input on the screen. But something I find playing with stylus is that a lot of things are smoother. And... Um, a lot of things are smoother, that's kind of it. You have an easier job of putting things where you want them. Unfortunately, sometimes your stylus slides a bit off course which brings about some accuracy issues. Um, things I forgot to highlight about touch is that you can cycle cards really fast using two hands, two, two fingers. For example like this, whereas touch you just have to hit the screen really hard. But otherwise it's a really interesting way to play. I've played, definitely played with stylus before and to be fair I really enjoyed it and yeah good lord I solved it in 1 minute 17 on hard mode mouse stylus and touch I don't see why you'd use more than one of them but at least they all help don't ever do this I know most of you are looking at this thing is how do you even play solitaire with a keyboard well, the gist of it is, you press 1 to select first row, 2 for the second row, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, and 7 for the rest of them. You press D to draw a card, and you can locate around using the arrow keys, and you press space to send the card up. Easy, yes, effective, 
No. Well, on the bright side, if you want ASMR, then here's here's the moment you came for. Oh wait, yeah, that's something I remember with the keyboard. You can't get to the solve button. <laughs> Just can't. I have to do things manually. Like, is there a cooldown between like setting up cards? Because I'm pressing space and it's doing nothing. No. Oh, what the? Well, at least I'm done with keyboard for now. Well, it turns out I'm not done with keyboard for now because guess what? There's more keyboard. I. That's not good. Wait, is. <laughs> what? Wait, so is there space? Oh my god! No! <laughs> this is not how you're supposed to play solitaire. Oh, you can scroll as well. Like, there has to be an up button, surely. Um. Ooh, what's this? Is that. Do anything? Oh, can I record now? Okay, so, like, my, my thing actually cooperates with me now. <gasps> oh, I found it! You are the most exhausting way of playing solitaire I have ever seen and three and the four hey I'm actually getting the hang of this by any chance have I missed like a seven anywhere no nah, it's not a seven is it I can move that four down seven space six space and the king yes one and four one and finally, okay, good. Everything has come together now. Anything? I can't see which cards are under the keyboard. Can I move this? I can move it! Oh! Oh, that's perfect. Number two's five can go on top of the six. They'll give way to the seven, which is somewhere. Uh, I need to get rid of the six first. That means the five needs to go. Number three onto number five. And then number three goes up. That was excruciating. I'm I'm never gonna do this again. You on-screen keyboard, you're the worst thing to ever exist. What did I agree to use this thing? So this way of playing solitaire is probably just as cursed as the keyboard. I mean you move with the D-pad and you press. E <laughs> So you move with the D-pad, and you move stuff with A. Like, seriously not a recommended way to play the game. But then again, I think this is all the video is. If it's a way to play the game, I'm gonna play it in that way. And controller isn't an exception. Oops, how do I control Z? I can't control Z! Ugh, oh, be gone! It took me four minutes. Okay, this is probably gonna be the most stupid thing I've done in the while. You know, playing solitaire with my feet is like, it's not that bad, it's actually quite nice. Maybe I should, wait, no. I will not believe that playing solitaire with my feet is a good idea. No one should ever try this. No one. <sighs> I feel like getting tired after this. So in four minutes, fifty-two. Nice. Yee. <laughs> Can't even see it. All right. Let's see what we can do. Oh, 
it's not that bad. Like big accuracy issues. I have to look at my style at a completely different angle just to see it. I don't think the camera can see it very well. If you are going to try one of these at home, I think this is the fun one. Fun in the sense that using your leg holding a stylus to move stuff around. Uh, hey two, I think I know where this is going. Yeah, about that. This is a family friendly channel, so I'm just going to leave it there. Gently and put it down. Oh, no. drop the stylus. What? I dropped the stylus again. Finally, okay. Oh, yeah, yeet. Woo. Oh, man, am I glad that that's finished. <laughs> well, as the feet weren't bad enough, we have a keyboard now. This is the most long winded thing I am ever going to do. Oh, Control C. <laughs> Oh, okay. Stop going between the two piles, they're so annoying. Oh, I'm so done. <laughs> God damn. Oh, wait, we need real cards? Hmm. Oh, look, there's the cards. Why do I even do this? Alright, the hell am I supposed to do? I guess I can put the ace here? Maybe? Maybe this is just like normal solitaire. Oh god, whoops. Ten. Oh crap, is that front or back? I have no idea. No! I'm gonna pretend that that's fine. Yeah, I lost. We're gonna try this again. This is so exhausting, just plainly because of the amount of cards I have to move around. No, no! No! If I put something in the wrong spot, I won't even realize. Yes! Solved! <sighs> it's finally over. Before I say goodbye, I think there's one statement that everybody should take away from this video. Just because there is a way to do it, doesn't mean you should do it. Thank you so much for making it this far in the video, and if you really enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and consider subscribing. Bye!